everyone is very excited about chat GPT. I have not tried it yet, but I'm excited to check it out and I probably will be doing a demo very soon. This particular video is going to be a quick, raw, live demonstration of a tool that I'm testing out. I don't have a ton of experience with it yet, but it's called Content at Scale AI. And generally it promises to allow you to use Content at Scale as an AI tool and get long form content without having any human interaction. So they're claiming that you don't need to edit, it will give you long form content. And I'm actually gonna compare it quickly to Jasper. And I'll show you, I put the exact same information in and got a much shorter piece of content from Jasper. Now, I think I'll probably do another video and actually you could leave a comment if you want me to go through and use Jasper and try to get a longer form piece of content. So I'll show you really quickly here over on uh, content at scale. This is one of those deals where basically it's like a cooking show. It takes a few minutes for this to run through and I want this to be a fast demo. So I'm just going to show you quickly the input. So I'm logged into content at scale over here and I'm logged into Jasper and I'm going to, I've already done this work over creating a niche site is the topic that we're going to do. So I, I wrote for the content description and brief. I said, you know, write a post about creating a niche website. The tone will be witty and casual, which is I guess my style, or I like to think that. And I said to use a keyword of Amazon affiliate in medium output length. So I came over here and uh, hit compose a couple times and ended up with 276 words here. It's uh, generally accurate. Everything is fine here, 276 words. It's not quite as long as I, I wanted. And they do use Amazon affiliate. The thing is, I'm pretty sure, you know, if I use some of the other tools and really kind of hold Jasper's hand, it'll produce longer content. I hopped over to content at scale. I click uh, new project and it gives you uh, some information to input here. So you could put in, you know, uh, niche site is the project. We can say what the project is about, the target audience, the tone of voice. And I think I put casual here. I'm gonna quickly just copy and paste this over. So you put in, what is it about? Write a post about creating a niche website. I input my URL, some of the other details in the target audience. I could put in, you know, new entrepreneurs, something like that, whatever you want to put in here, right? So then you hit create project and it goes from there. This is all the information you really need to put in here. And then you could hop over. It'll take a few minutes to generate. I don't remember exactly how long it took, but it was something like five minutes or so. As you can see, it gives you a title, creating a niche website step-by-step -step guide for marketers. We have the number of words here. So it's 2,300 words, which is obviously more than the, the 280 that Jasper gave us. It gives us a meta description, some on-page optimization. And we go through here and we can see the output is uh, pretty good. I have Grammarly. So I have a premium version of Grammarly. Let me scroll back up to the top here. So I have a premium version of Grammarly. We have a solid intro. Are you looking to start your own business? Creating a niche website can be the perfect way to get started. Whether you're an experienced marketer, engineer, side hustler, or project manager, creating a successful niche site is not as hard as it sounds. So it goes on from here. We could see the table of contents and I could tell that hits all the marks. There's nothing weird here. And as we scroll down, we can see, you know, there's some usage and some tips that Grammarly is giving us. Now, the promise of content at scale is to not have to edit anything. I don't have an issue with reading over it. And if I'm reading over it, and I could you know, take a few minutes to read over 2,300 words, not a big deal. With Grammarly Premium, I could go through and clean some stuff up, re remove some wordiness, make it a little bit tighter. And there's just a couple things that you can change up. Sometimes Grammarly is wrong and the way it's written is proper. But what I would go through 
what I would do is go through and I would read this content and then maybe put in some quirks of my particular uh, you know, speech, how I like to present information. Maybe I know there's a good analogy for a particular topic area. So like building a website is like, you know, building a home. So you have to lay a good foundation, blah, blah, blah. So I could put in some stuff like that to give it a little more character and sound more like me. The other thing you'll notice is there's actually some rich formatting built right in. So we have this key takeaway. We have this other section, click to tweet, like right like right here, it's already formatted. We also can go in and do additional formatting here. We could add links and whatever you need to do. So as we scroll down, you can see there are some things to uh, take a look at. Links should direct users towards products relevant to their interests rather than generic items. And toward is probably more correct. It's one of those, you know, tricky usage things. And, uh, you know, frankly, I'm not that great at grammar, which is why I use Grammarly. So this is the deal. Um, basically, what you would want to do here is, you know, check out the optimization. It hits most of the marks already over here. It only looks like there's five that are not uh, checked off yet. And it's not a huge deal. So some paragraphs are three sentences or more. So you can adjust things. And that's not, you know, the worst sin, right? Sometimes you want to have a longer paragraph, no big deal. You have a content brief over here. And what you could do is take a look at your uh, the, the other sites that are ranking here and see if you want to add these particular subheadings for a uh, quote content brief, and then you could rerun the post and it'll add a section for that given topic area that you've just added from a competitor. So you can go over here and do competition analysis and add those in. And you can uh, review this a little deeper and request a plagiarism scan. So anyway, this is a uh, content at scale. I am an affiliate. So if you do sign up, I can get a commission, which I greatly appreciate, but I encourage you to check it out and just have a look over there. It essentially replaces a writer. If you dig these kind of uh, real life reviews, take a look at some of the others. I've done several on Jasper. I'm probably going to take a look at chat GPT and I'll use more of Jasper and potentially let me know in the chat if you want to see me use Jasper to create a post that's more like, 2300 words instead of the you know 270 that we got from the initial uh, output i think we could do better with jasper but it'll just take a little more work so leave a comment if you have questions number one and if you want to see uh, more detail with jasper let me know if you if you like if you like me overall uh, thanks it makes me feel good subscribe to the channel hit the like button and we'll catch you on the next video